So the Larry Summers. What's the pro for Larry Summers? I mean, Larry Summers has got a great relationship with the president. The president knows, you know, all the positives and negatives. They spent a lot of time together in the trenches during the financial crisis. I mean, that has to count for a lot, I think. Right. Larry. And, and monetary well, that's, I mean, that's that's what gets helps to get him the job. And I've actually been thinking about this. What is, what's the argument for him on on the on the substance? And here's one that I'll throw out, which I actually haven't heard other people make. If we're living in un, in, in uncharted times, central banking is be is being rewritten as we speak, and economics is being rewritten as you speak. If you want someone who's going to come in with fresh thinking and kind of brilliant ideas about how to rebuild the edifice of economics and central banking, Summers is a pretty smart guy. Uh, he, he's brought a lot of fresh thinking to other areas of economics. You know, you could argue that if you want the smartest economi economist out there to rebuild this stuff, he's a more original thinker than Janet but That's Yellen. interesting because most of what Larry Summers has done, what he's said and what he's written and talked about is really not in the area of monetary policy at all. It's much more in, in uh, kind of fiscal policy, uh, labor, and markets. labor markets, economic policy in general, not Fed policy. So he, in a way, as well known as he is, he's not really well known in this area. Right. But why is it, Damien, that the, I mean, here's Larry Summers who's been preaching for more fiscal stimulus and who's, you know, behind some of the Obama initiatives that the liberals like. Uh, the liberal Democrats seem to be lining up to run the Janet Yellen cheerleading school. Right. I mean, I think there's two things behind it. One is they think that it, they think there's this old boys club within the White House that the president kind of keeps relying on, and that it would be an affront to mm -hmm. to Janet Yellen if they if they picked Larry Summers. And they also there's still a lot of um, bruised feelings about the financial crisis and the end of the Clinton well, administration. Well, but a lot of this has to do with banks, big banks. Yeah. Who's a defender of big banks? Who's bent over backwards over the years to defend big banks? Which runs against liberal and populist instincts, and I think that's a lot of the Larry Stum Summers rap here. It doesn't have as much to do with, in my view, as much to do with monetary policy as with regulatory policy. It's uh, banks, financial institutions, there's so many elephants in the room when you yeah. talk about Larry <laughs> yeah. Summers. This is another elephant in the room, and this is a story that Damien helped to, he helped to lead, you know, breaking. His association with Citigroup, Citigroup after he left the White House can't, can't help him. That really can't help him. I mean, he went out thinking that he might become Fed, uh, Fed chairman one day and still went out and signed a consulting contract with Citigroup and made a lot of money off of that. Which he worked with, with and for previously, so right. second right. time around with Citigroup. Right. Right.